swing toward first pitch from Safeco. The Rangers and the Mariners, next. MLB The Show has baseball from the Pacific Northwest and Safeco Field in Seattle. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners. Hi again everybody, Matt Vaskersian here for this AL West matchup. I'm joined in the booth by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Before we get to them, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Texas Rangers, as their order will read like this. Elvis Andrews will stand in for the first time here. Swing and a high chopper to third. And the catch is made one away. So two pitches yield our first out of the afternoon. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the Seattle Mariners. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Leonis Martin digs in at the plate. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Hit hard on the ground is short. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may see that last call challenged here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Well, here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when we saw it live, and I'll tell you what, it's still tough to tell from that angle. We're going to have to see what the dugout decides. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Mariners are challenging... The okay, well, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? Hmm, yeah, I think that shot right there makes it look like he might have been out. So this might be a well-used challenge. Okay, so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision. And off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call is overturned. And instead of having a base runner at first, the bases will now be empty. Overturned. And the batter ruled out. Get the here. Stepping in now, Adrian Beltre. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Slice down the line at first. Morrison will take this over to first, and with that, ends the inning. Rangers set down in order. Rangers nothing. Mariners coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Austin Jackson will get his first cuts here. Ready now on one and one. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Chu is there, one away. Well, that one looked like for all the world, it was a sure single leading off the inning. It was certainly hit hard enough, but evidently it was hit a little too hard as it winds up getting flagged down, and that's just a tough break. Into the box now, Seth Smith. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. Robinson Cano will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. the 3-1 home. Swing at a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out.
got the count in your favor, three and one, and you do this? These two are the at-bats, and you look back on it, you think, man, I, I just gave away an out there. Standing in now, Nelson Cruz. Runners off for second, and this is going to be a foul ball. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still 3-2. The 3-2 one more time. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Oh, and this deflects right off him. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, that's one of the dangers of being a corner outfielder. If you dive, there's no safety net behind you. I think he's pretty lucky in the end that this one wound up only being two bases instead of three. Heck, could have even been four. In now, Kyle Seeger. He bounces this one toward the left side, and that's going to find the hold into left field. It's a base hit. And now they've got him caught in a rundown. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. Mike Zanino. Stand in looking to keep this first inning rally hot. Here's Gallardo now with the 2-1. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You need to be awfully careful here. Runners at the corners, that, that's bad enough. You do not want to load the bases here in the very first inning. Oh, definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Three, two pitch. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Logan Morrison. Dig in here with a chance early on to give his pitcher a little cushion to work with. 3-2, here it comes. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. One run scored. And the second run will score as well. Dustin Ackley. Step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Now the one and one pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And now here one and two. This is where you need your best pitch. You've got to strand that runner out there at second base and keep the just at three. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Under it now is Chu, and he will put it away to end the inning. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. We'll head to inning number two here at Safeco. The M's lead it three to nothing. Prince Fielder leads things off now in the top half of the second. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. And they know full well the threat that this guy poses. So even down three and one, I can't imagine he's going to get anything that he can drive right here. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Shin Su Chu steps in now. Here now the 2-2. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. The 2-2 one more time. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Another full count pitch home. Fouled straight back. 
Once again, a 3-2. Now Chu will lay off ball four here, and he's going to reach. Mitch Moreland will be the batter. Mitch Moreland. Here he comes on 3-1. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And say goodbye to that one. Into the seats and right for a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And the Rangers have come back to cut this to a 3-2 ball game now. So the base is empty here with one away. And stepping in now is the left fielder, Nate Shearholtz. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. It's not a bad idea. Payoff pitch coming. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Robinson Chirinos will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Payoff pitch one more time. And a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. But two here in the Rangers half of the inning and they come on this two run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mariners three and the Rangers two. Brad Miller will start things off in the bottom of the second. The one one home. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The one two coming from Gallardo. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Here he comes on two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging that. And a good throw gets him one gone. Austin Jackson will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Here's the one-two. Ah, this is lined into left field for a base hit. Seth Smith will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. 1-1 one, one on the way. In there, 1-2 and two now. Runners on first with one down. The 1-2. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two and two now. Oh, that's not a bad idea right there. Go ahead and try that back foot slider on a 1-2. and two. Hope you can get him to commit. That's a good job of laying off of that pitch. Under it is Martine, and that's out number two. Robinson Cano will dig in now. The starting second baseman for the American League in last July's All-Star game. Now the 1-1 to Cano. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. That's a good pitch call right there on that fastball away. That works almost like a pitch out, just in case he's thinking about it over there. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. We play two full. The Mariners are on top, three to two. Here's the pitch. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. There to take it is Jackson, and there's your first out. Elvis Andrews will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. And he'll offer it the 2-1 and send it in the air out to right. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Leonis Martin will stand in. Base hit his first time around. And he'll lay 
off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They're down three to two. Nelson Cruz makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. Here comes a 1-2. Here now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even a 2-2. Two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Swung on and lifted into shallow center field. And Andrus will take this one in with two hands for the first down. Kyle Seeger will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. Here's the two and one pitch. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. Now the 3 1. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this is going to get to the wall now out near the Mariner bullpen. Well, this is a good fastball hitting team. And if you put these guys in a position where they can afford to just sit on fastballs, they're going to have a lot of success. Sure enough, he gets ahead in the count, he gets himself that fastball, and then he drives it for two bases. This is easy, isn't it? Into the box, Mike Zanino. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Third inning, already a 3-2 ball game. Here comes the 2-1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Two, two. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Sherholtz will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Boy, these are the kind of days where even I want to grab a bat. Everybody on that offense is hitting the ball hard somewhere. Logan Morrison will stand in. He had a two-run single his first time around. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Now, he does have first base open, so he doesn't have to come in right here. He can try to make that perfect pitch, and you know what? If he misses, who cares? Three and two, here it is. And this is on the ground now for Andrus at short. Throw on to fielders in time, and with that, the side is retired. One left for Seattle, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Adrian Beltre will step in to lead things off for the Rangers, and he'll have protection in the form of Prince Fielder waiting in the on-deck circle. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. That's a pitch that you got to stay on top of or else it'll take off on you just like that one did. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Here's the two and two offering. Hard hit down the line. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Come on, go nice and easy. Prince Fielder will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now the 1-1. One, one. Here's a ground ball to first. 
One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Sharply hit here, but right at the first baseman coming off the bag. So he gets the ball rolling as they pull off the nice 3-6-1 double play. Charlie Furbush is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Now this ball is also swung on and also hit on the ground first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Still a 3-2 ball game. Back with Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian here as Dustin Ackley gets set to settle in for the Mariners to kick off their half of the inning. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting toward the third base dugout. And, oh, he can't rein it in. Now the 1-2. Taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. And Shearholtz has got it. One away. One away now, and here's the shortstop, Brad Miller. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's 1-2 and two now. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And we'll go back to the top of the order now for Austin Jackson. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Seth Smith will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Here comes the 1-1. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mariners leave one. They're up three to two. Fernando Rodney will come in and pitch now. Mitch Moreland will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. The three-one coming. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Nate Sherholz will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Fastball got him looking as that has two seam action on it, one gone. In a game like this, you hope that the bottom half of the order can pick up the slack here. But this isn't going to help much. Go grab some bench. Stepping in now, Robinson Chirinos. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Here comes a 2-2. Runner goes for second in the air down the left field line and deep. And that will hop over the wall and a tough break there as the time run will have to go back to third on the automatic double. Rupnit Odor will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. There's a ball hit out to left center and it's over the head of the shortstop Miller for a base hit. And he will score as well. And they've gone ahead here by a run. It's four to three. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. A one one. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And this continues right on through him as he couldn't knock it down. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Center fielder. Leonis Martin will dig in. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. And this one gets away. That could be a run. It is. Hits are even right now at five aside. Here's the two and two home. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. Throw gets him. Two down. 
So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And set to stand in, a guy who seems to get better with age, the dangerous Adrian Beltre. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. <laughs> to two and two now. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. The 2 2 one more time. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rangers five and the Mariners three. Robinson Cano will dig in again. He popped up in his first plate appearance and flew out last time around. Here he comes on two and one. Two one pitch is swung on and hit in the air out to center field. Martin able to take it in for the first down. Nelson Cruz will stand in now. The reigning American League home run champ. Nelson Cruz. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. Under it is Martin and that's out number two. Kyle Seeger will dig in. He doubled his last time. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. One, two. Two and two now with two away, and the base is empty. The 2-2 two, two coming. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. And even three, two... I don't know if you want to challenge him here. Better to put him on than to give up a solo home run. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Andrews is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. take our leave time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two run victory and guys the Rangers were led this afternoon by the exploits of this man Mitch Moreland can't ask for much more he's our top player of the game yeah I think in the end this really could have been anybody's award but what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Rangers come out on top 5-3. to three. So long from Seattle.